first key area uh, from an AFL strength and power point of view is developing general athleticism. So as we know, in the gym, it's not going to um, specifically transfer onto the field, i.e. to get better at football, you need to be playing football and training the traits of football um, from a tactical, technical point of view. So what we are doing is improving the general athleticism, i.e. how high you can jump, uh, your acceleration, your um, strength, your uh, critical mass, so your body mass, specifically increasing muscle mass. So we're improving that general uh, mobility, uh, coordination, so general athleticism. Uh, and if you do a good enough job, one, it's going to make football easier, the better athlete you are but also uh, hopefully allow you to perform at a higher level within your team and, and um, play your best football. Then from an injury mitigation point of view, developing resilient, robust athletes, we'll make sure we're getting some hamstring, uh, eccentric hamstring work in there. So um, some single leg slide outs, some Nordics, some weighted Nordics, uh, glute um, uh, single leg back extensions. Um, so anything where we're trying to work on um, developing the strength through our hammies, uh, we want to have good, exercises uh, challenging our lumbopelvic control so that's where the unilateral work can come in uh, and making sure we've got good uh, understanding of our uh, hip lock uh, and also our rib cage um, so being in that hip hike position and also being able to keep our ribs down and not flaring out the back um, so things like a single leg squat uh, we can work on standing on a plate and doing a hip lock with a press overhead to challenge the rib connection control. Last part, periodization, simply our planning. Um, typically, if we're in in-season mode, which we are with this recording, we want to be quite agile in the gym, making sure we're keeping our finger on the pulse on how the athletes are feeling and really finding that sweet spot between maximizing the stimulus to ensure that we're building robust athletes and we're maintaining consistency and consistent load uh, and intensity would be the priority. But also we want to make sure we're giving them a chop out when they uh, are showing signs of potentially uh, being off for that day. So whether it be they had a huge field session, um, their joints are sore, maybe they're an older athlete or they're a younger athlete. So taking in some individual um, details into account and um, you might not be changing the exercise, but you might just be talking about the importance of slowing them down that day and focusing on really quality movement. And naturally, you might be stripping a bit of weight off or you might just be reducing the range of motion for them, so a higher box that they're box squatting. Uh, 